Maddie Mooner's Menagerie, a book dash book by Rachel Zadok, Candice Ditalamo, and Nick Mulgrew. My name is Maddie Muna, and today I'm turning five. Dad promised I could choose a pet, a real one, something live. We'll travel across the whole wide world, searching Mali through Tibet, until we find the perfect one. Oh, I know just what I'll get. I'm going to get an elephant. I'll ride on it to school. My brother Billy can walk behind. He'll think I'm awfully cool. But what if Ellie caught a cold? I guess she'd sneeze a lot. There is no tissue big enough to wipe up all that snot. I want a Nile crocodile sent to me by the pharaohs. I'll call him Tut and feed him soup, fish fingers, and baby marrows. I'll keep him in the bathtub and brush his pearly whites. But what if flossing all those teeth takes me all day and night? Perhaps a pair of porcupines for games of robbers and cops. Their prickly quills will be handy for holding up sweetie shops. I can munch away on candy bars while my gang sharpens their spines. But. What if my sharpshooting pals put me in the firing line? Hmm. Maybe I need a stealthier plan. Let's clear out the store with funk. There isn't a smellier critter on earth. That's what I want—a skunk. But what if I can't go into the shop after skunk years let off his stink? Sweets are no good for my teeth anyway. Hmm, a rotten idea. I need to rethink. <gasps> a rhino, the horns, the big stomping feet, the armor on both of its flanks. Billy would never chase me again. It would be my own personal tank. But what if Billy raises his temper, and Rhino goes on the rampage? Crash, bang, boom! The teacups, the plates. Now I'm grounded till I'm grand's age. I need a beast to tame my brother, with teeth, sharp claws, and a roar. A lion! I could feed it Billy Bultong. Yes, a lion would settle the score. But a lion has a huge appetite. Skinny Billy won't satisfy. And once Brutus has a taste for us Mooners, he'll see me as Maddie Stir Fry. Dad thinks I should choose a cuddlier pet. My parents are so hard to please. They want me to have a pet I can hug. A python? A python has a squeeze. But if Snaky develops too much of a crush, he'll suffocate me with affection. To be honest, I just can't marry a snake, and reptiles can't handle rejection. No, reptiles aren't the way to go. I definitely need something taller. A giraffe would be awesome. I'll slide down her neck, and think up a long name to call her. But something more than eight foot tall is no good. Our house has a rather low ceiling. I'd spend hours massaging the cricks out her neck. My fingers would lose all their feeling.、Mm, none of these are the perfect pet. Oh, what! Oh, what will I get? Those animals just don't work. None of my perfect partner in crime. I want something with fur. A pet who will follow. Oh wait, I know. A canine. <coughs> my bandit is the biggest bark on the block. He's the fastest pup in the west. Nothing can stop us. Not Billy, nor bedtime. I love my bandit. He's my best.
This program is produced by Cassie Lowers, Vion Fincher, and Diane Simpson.